Welcome to our final segment. We're here on location at our mineral harvesting facility here on the pristine shores of the Great Salt Lake. And uh, Dr. Stark, you want to tell our audience a little bit about this modernized harvesting facility that we have here? I'd love to. In fact, what I'd like to do, Scott, is kind of tell them about the surroundings. I mean, we're in a very remote location, very pristine, as you would mentioned, literally protected by thousands of acres. Yet at the same time, we're very close to the lake's edge. In fact, we're only 500 feet from the lake's edge. Therefore, we don't have to trench or disrupt, uh, you know, the, the lake's bed in any way. Correct. So therefore, yeah. we keep it uh, protected. I mean, it's a sensitive environment, but at the same time, we don't disrupt it in any way. Yeah, absolutely. The, the other good thing is it's completely secure because we, we do have private uh, lands all around us, and we're like like 20, uh, 20 miles from the nearest public access road. So right. it's completely, it also has 24-hour surveillance, so uh, there's, it's just, it's really neat out here. It is, and you know, one of the things that we enjoy about this location is that, again, when you look at what Mother Nature's provided for us and that we have the opportunity to take from it and be able to you know, help and promote the benefit of what we discussed in the other segments, uh, this truly is a piece of nature that, sh that has a beauty all its own. Right. The other thing we do is we, uh, we use a lot of solar energy in order to to a lot of the processes that we're doing to harvest the minerals. Right. So we're minimizing our carbon footprint in that way as well. Absolutely. One of the key aspects of this facility is testing, and uh, we go to great lengths to test our product to ensure its quality. And uh, Dr. Stark, do you want to talk a little bit about this testing that we do? Sure. You know, we spend thousands of dollars on third-party testing to make sure that the quality, the standardization, uh, is, is, is literally specific to what we need and, of course, to our, our end product. Uh, we're also uh, involved in GMP certification. Uh, that's that's a very important. I think it should be important to those that uh, that use the product that that they are GMP certified. Yeah, we're also testing uh, multiple times a week to ensure that the product is is where we need it to be and and is at the quality that that you would expect. We have a really special guest with us today as well, and uh, we're really privileged to have him here. It's David Butts. You know, David's been uh, involved in solar evaporation. In fact, he. I would say is the founder of, of solar evaporation on, here on the Great Salt Lake. Absolutely. Um, he's got 45 years experience. He's a, a certified chemical engineer. Yep. He's also on our advisory board Absolutely. as well and uh, consults with us on the solar evaporation technology. And he, I mean, he, he designed the entire operation that we have here, essentially absolutely. with our, we have more than a dozen solar evaporation ponds. So. And, and uh, you know, it's a great privilege to have David uh, with us truly. So I'd like to introduce him. David, why don't you join us here? Uh, really privileged to have you here. Thanks for joining us today. Um, you know, it's been 45 years since you've been doing this, and uh, there are a lot of people that, that said you couldn't do it. And tell us, tell us about that a little bit. Well, the, the operation here at Great Salt Lake, you know, we're in, we're in a very cold period in the wintertime, and because of that, people said, well, you, solar ponds need heat, and you're not gonna be able to do much just in one summertime. Right. So it, it took a special design on the solar ponds uh, to sequentially flow brines through the ponds, make the design so that it would work. And in June, July, and August, we're able to make thousands, up to millions of tons of salt uh, using the uh, technology that we've developed here on the Great Salt Lake. Wow, that's interesting. That's great. And of course, you've you've taken that same design, David, and you've put it into our facility. All that 45 years of history you've put into a... Well, yes, I've worked across the world on every continent uh, developing the mathematics and the science of running solar ponds. And so that the technology, of course, is used here on this operation to make sure they run very efficiently uh, and get the most. And yet, you know, solar ponds, they don't use chemicals. They don't. They don't use anything that would cause a problem right. uh, in the brine, except for the sun. And uh, so you might say it's the sun that does all the work. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, and there's no other chemicals or problems associated with those solar ponds. Absolutely. And you mentioned that you traveled throughout the world. Tell us some of the places you've you've well, gone I've been and done about it. Over 50 different countries wow. worked in that developed solar ponds in those operations, and so. Uh, I tell people, name a place you'd like to be, 
and uh, I'll bet I've been there. So far, it's been about true. There's so, there's so many uh, operations in the world that want to use cheap energy, which is the sun, and using solar ponds. Right. But there are all different types of minerals, and, and uh, so you can make different types. Depends on the brine, where it comes from. And Great Salt Lake is, is unique. It's a sulfate lake and not many are found in the world. Right. Would you, so you'd say that this is truly one of the most unique bodies of water in the world? Yes, it is. Uh, people think about Great Salt Lake and the Dead Sea as being the two big lakes of sure. the world, the, solar, uh, the, the uh, terminal lakes, we call them terminal lakes. Right. Uh, and the Dead Sea has cl is a chloride lake, Great Salt Lake is a sulfate lake, mm. and it has much, many more trace minerals. Uh, and uh, sulfate minerals than most of the other lakes of the world. So Dave, you've, you've brought you, all your 45 years that uh, you've been doing this to trace minerals research to help us uh, create such a, such a, a pristine yeah, make product. Efficient, make efficient solar ponds here and t to do it effectively, quickly, and efficiently. Right. We've used all the technology that we've learned over those 45 years. So tell us a little bit, if you could, just briefly about uh, the fact that you're, we're using such a minimal amount, considering uh, to to create, you know, we, we we used to you have to use a lot, but we don't have to use that much anymore because of the technology you've brought to us. Well, you want to make the most you can for the least area that you have, sure, and the least expense. You want to keep it down, and so. Uh, there's just so much magnesium and other elements in the lake, and you want to push all of those towards the end product. Right. And this type of solar pond operation here, y using the theory of sequential ponds and sequencing brine from one to another, does just that. It, it makes it a very efficient system so that you get the very most you can out of the least that you pump in. Right. So basically what I've understood from that, David, is that we can actually take 20 gallons of, of Great Salt Lake water and get a gallon of, of concentrate trace mineral drops is what we call it. Well, doing it effectively, you can get about, uh, about uh, 20, 20 to 1. Oh, that's, a, that's excellent. Well, thanks for being with us, David. We appreciate it. Well, it's been my pleasure.